Hello, in this dot programming video, I am going to show you the set collection. The set collection allows you to store values, but only, you know, each, you know, value or each object can only occur once. So it's basically a unique set of values. To create one, really simple, just put set, that's like the data type, then you, you know, name it. So I'm going to call it epic set equals new set. And now to add value to it, you just put the name, so epic set dot add. And if I do 10, let's just do five of these. So 10, 20, 30. Obviously you can store whatever you like. And 50. And if we were to just print it out now, if we was to just do print epic set we, we get it all printed out if you want to print out an individual value you can do that by doing epic set epic set or if you want to retrieve an individual value epic set Okay, sorry. I meant to do dot. So I was thinking of an array, and we can either get the last one, we can either get the first one, and obviously the first one is easy. That's always the first. Like it's always you know number one. Whereas the last one might not be the fifth one. It might not be the tenth one. It might not you know be the hundredth one. It could be any particular you know whatever the size is. So that is you know, really really useful for that you can use the for each to go over it what i'm actually going to demonstrate is how to use the for each loop so for so for like this value in epic set so this will get every single value from it and we can print it out by doing you know, printing that value so if we run this we'll get every single value printed out 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, pretty cool stuff. What happens if we add another one? So if I add, dot add, and I add 10. As you can see, it's, it hasn't added it. And the reason it hasn't is that this is a unique collection of data or objects. As a result, you can't have duplicate values. One last thing I want to show you is how to create a set from, you know, basically a list of values if you know them from the start instead of adding them later on. You can do that by just doing set and I'll call it epic set to equals new set dot from open close bracket. In here you put square brackets and then you put your value. So if you put one, two, three and four and we could you know you can do the exact same thing the exact same properties methods as we did before so i'll just do a simple printout like this just to show you it is basically the same so if you know the values you can do that or you can just add them later on so that's the set collection pretty simple to be fair but if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video